Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. To my channel. <laughs> welcome back guys. Thank you for following and watching my video. And this is Anna and we are going to make a almond milk today. So, and this is going to be the first time that I'm going to make this. So we will see guys. So, what we have right here is... This is very simple. This is, um, the ingredients is just, you know, less than a handful. So I have vanilla extract, a little bit, a little bit, not a little bit, but I got kosher salt, honey for sweetener. I have a cup of, uh, four cups. No, I'm sorry, my goodness, why is that I can't talk today? Five cups of um water. So um so I got five cups of water, and this is the magic right here. So this is the almond. So what you did for the almond is you have to boil the water. A very hot very hot water boil it and then you have a cup of almond nuts not roasted it's it's fresh natural I mean you know what I'm saying don't roast them don't put any seasoning or anything like that so so I have boiled the water and then put in the cup of almond no seasoning or anything put them in the fridge overnight and soak them for overnight and this is what it looks like guys so that's the water after soaking the almond and we'll check the almond and this is what it looks like see how nice and beautiful oh my gosh that is so you look at the nuts so fresh so this is gonna be the nuts that we're going to make with our almond milk guys okay so this is like i said this is the first time that i'm gonna make this so i'm so excited so excited so what we're going to do is i have a blender here okay so i have a blender what we're going to do is put our almond nuts our water and just put everything all the ingredients you know the vanilla just a little bit of salt just to um, come out the flavor of our almond naturally not too much salt you know what I'm saying and then honey for your sweetener so what I'm going to do is because I don't like a uh, too sweet milk. So what we're going to do is open our blender. Okay. Then what I'm going to do next is get our nuts. So this is our almonds. It's already in our blender. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just set this cheese cloth aside. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour my water to our blender. Okay, I'm gonna start some that I think that is about like three cups. And then we're gonna blend them. Okay. It's gonna be a little loud, guys. Okay. Bear with me. Okay. What we're gonna do is chop first. the the puree okay 
Okay, and then we'll take a look at it, okay? Oh, I'm so excited with this. Oh, wow, look at that, guys. That natural mirror right there. Yay. So, then I'm gonna add our vanilla. So, I'm just gonna add about half a teaspoon. It doesn't wanna overwhelm the vanilla flavor. Here you go, that would be great. And then, our kosher salt. Just like I said, put the salt on your hand. It's like that, so you don't put too much. So this one right here, that would be plenty, okay? There you go. So it will just enhance the flavor. It will come out the natural flavor of our almond. And then of course, our honey. So we'll try to put, because I don't want a too sweet, guys. Can you hold this for me, please? Thank you, my love. Okay. So you can, oh! Messes up. Pardon me. Okay. Ooh, I'm making a mess. Look at that. But anyway, so though I think that was a uh, one tablespoon. Then I'm just gonna add a half. So just a tablespoon and a half. That would be great. That would be plenty for me. Look at that beautiful honey right there. Ooh, yum. Okay, so next thing is so there you go guys so i already put the honey uh salt vanilla and then we'll blend it again for like a minute okay we'll do the puree And then we will add the rest of the water. Ooh, it smells so good. Okay, we'll add the rest of the water. Okay. Seems like four cups for that. Because it's gonna be too full. So we'll just try the four cups. And if you have a bigger blender, you can just, um, you know, add five cups of water because I don't want to put too much. It may uh, overflow, okay? So so this is just a uh, showing you up, guys, how to make it. So we're going to go ahead and... guys so we're going to strain our almond right here okay so we'll just take that out so this is the combination of almond vanilla salt and honey and then of course water so we're going to strain them so what i'm gonna be using is a uh, cheesecloth okay so what i have is a doll i think this is like two four folded uh cheesecloth okay so we're going to start okay we'll start on that Ooh, yum oh wow this is beautiful i'm so excited with this guys and you can see the milk going down 
Guys, look at that. Oh, amazing. Okay, make sure you get all the milk. Wow. And this is gonna be the pulp. Look at that, guys. See how nice. And then we'll just go ahead and continue um, making our beautiful milk. Okay, guys. Okay, we'll, give, we'll, we'll go ahead and take this out and then throw it away. So there you go, guys. So this is the finished product that we did for our almond milk. And I was just so excited. So for one cup, like I said, um, I didn't get the chance to put all the um, five cups because my blender is, doesn't have enough space. And it's going to be too full. So this is around, because like I said, you can play with the water. If you want a little thicker, you can uh, put less than five um, cups of water. And then if you want a little thinner kind of uh, milk, then you can um, put less. So this is about uh, three and a half. And if you can see, this is creamy and a little thicker and if you see right here well anyway before i do that so this is one pint okay this is one pint right here so we have about a pint and a half of milk from a cup of almond uh almond nuts okay so look at this guys look at the consistency of the milk this is just like what you got in the store only a little better not a little so much better because there's no preservatives or anything all you have to do is like i said put sweeten sweetener which is i put honey and vanilla a little bit of a uh, pinch of salt water you know and almond nuts and there you go guys so i hope that you like my video today and i hope that you learned something right i was just excited with this then i'm just gonna put them in the fridge and um you can consume them for three to five days and keep it refrigerated to so make sure it won't spoil. And I'm pretty sure it won't take and it won't stay two to three days in the fridge. I'm going to use this for my cereals tomorrow morning for my breakfast. Well, thank you very much, guys, for watching my video today. And please don't forget, please don't forget, please to like, share, and subscribe. And... I still have a lot of videos coming up. I'm going to see you later, guys. Bye.